Okay, I'm going to make a little video here of a kind of a cool gauge uh, tool setup. I saw somebody on YouTube, uh, one of the air conditioning HVAC guys I follow. Uh, I can't remember who at the moment, but a lot of people are doing this. Uh, what you do, you could go to Johnstone or whatever your supply house and just buy the single uh, gauges. They are reasonably cheap. These ones are about $10 a piece. And I like these ones because they have the the big uh, rubber thick boot on them so they could get banged around a little bit. It's supposed to just, you know, the straight plastic ones were, you know, will break pretty easily. They have plastic behind the boot, but the rubber boot helps, you know, with the uh, banging it around and stuff. This is um, from Johnstone, like I said. That's the Johnstone part number for the blue uh, low side. And this one is for the high side. And that's the manufacturer model number, I would assume. And, and there's the one for the low side. I have to buy these uh, these yellow jacket fittings. It's like from here on down, it's just one piece from a different supply house. These were about ten bucks too a piece. So basically forty bucks, you get something like this, and this is the yellow jacket part. And that's the part number, quarter inch to one eighth. So. There you go, I thought this was uh, kind of a cool thing. Uh, you can keep it in your tool bag. Uh, you don't have to lug around your manifold gauges all the time, or you know, you can check quick pressures. Um, one thing that sucks on this is um, I didn't realize it until I just bought it, but you know, it kind of basically kind of maxes out at 120. Uh, it goes to 300 there, but once you go past 120, it's basically not too useful. Um, so this is more for R22, it does, you know, your R34 uh, temperature scales, but uh, normally on um, 410A, you know, runs about 120 normally on the low side, so this is not so good for 410A, but which, you know, the R22 stuff is the stuff that's still being worked on since that's the stuff that's breaking and that's old. So, or you could just switch, you know, put your uh, red gauge on. You know, um, pressure is pressure, PSI is PSI, so, um, you know, these are pretty cool. Uh, so if you could fit them on, sometimes you can't put them on because uh, the way the ports are on the machine, you know, there's not enough room. You just have to use your uh, manifold set, so, but if you could get these on, it's pretty cool. You don't lose a lot of, you don't lose a lot of refrigerant. Um, I don't think it really requires an anti-blowback fitting since it's so small. So you don't lose a lot of refrigerant for the these on. I just put a little uh, Teflon tape on them. Anyway, I thought these were cool. Um, especially on a ream package units, they basically, you know, they have the ports. Most of the time they have the ports on the outside and this works out pretty good. So I just thought I'd show this. This is uh, something cool to put in your tool bag. Anyway, thanks for watching.